Let's see here. Hey, everybody. I hope we have this going. I am in a new location today. I'm actually at um, the gym where I train. And uh, I, I'm not sure of the internet connection. Hopefully, it'll be good. We'll see. I'm going to wait until I get a thumbs up that you guys can see and hear me. Let me give it just a moment. Nadja, can y'all? Oh, good. Cameron, hey, good to see you. Good to see you. So it's been a couple of weeks. It's been a while. I'm not used to not uh, visiting with everybody and seeing you, so I'm very, very happy to be back. I'm very happy to be in a gi and being able to uh, karate train today for you and with you. Um, this was a last-minute class, and so I have a thousand different classes in my head that we can do, but I thought to do something different and fun and make it more interactive that maybe we would, hey Andre, I see you, that maybe we would make this an interactive class. So my thought behind this is that we'll do an active warm-up stretching, and while we're doing that, if you guys want to comment in and say different things that you'd like to train today, this is your class, I'm here for you, I'm just here to lead it. Um, and, and go over whatever you'd like to go over. I'm not really here to teach. Hey, Irene, good to see you. Nadja, thank you again so much for having me back. So if you guys want to name a kata that you'd like to do, whether it's a heian or upper level, we'll take a look at it and see. If you want to work on any, um, any basics, any type of strength training, whatever it is that you want to work on, let's make this your class and we'll enjoy it, okay? But for now, let's go ahead and warm up. Hey, George, I see you as well. If you cannot hear me, you cannot see me, please send me a message let me know because this is a new venue for me. All right, here we go. Same as always, big breath in, take it up and out. Up and out. When we're warming up like this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to connect our mind to our bodies, make sure that everything is moving together. Everything is understanding each other, right? Let's twist it side to side. Open it up the obliques first. Now let's go ahead and add our hips into it. A little bit of hip flexors. Make your feet free flowing. All right, knees up. San, Shi, Go, Rok, Sich, Hach, Hi. You take it around, itch, knee, loosening up those hips. Sign for whatever class you guys decide that we're going to do today. Go, rock, sit. I hope you're commenting something. Q, G, otherwise it'll be uh, leader's choice. <laughs> Let's take it around. Big circle and back. Big circle and back. Let's go the other way. Big circle. Make sure you're breathing, engaging every muscle that you can. We're going to do a small front stance. Bend. Again, this is active stretching. Okay, we're not trying to lengthen our muscles out here. We're trying to warm them up. Let's take it lower. Again, bending, stretching. Work on getting that heel on the floor, pushing, keeping the hip underneath you. Good. Other side. I see a lot of something coming through. I don't know what it is, but I can't wait to read it. Just a little stretch, a little bend. Let's go deeper. Heel on the floor. Stretching. Breathing. Good. Toes out. Squatting. Knee. Ah, you can lift your toes so you ensure that your hamstrings are getting the workout. Rook, sitch, hatch, ke, je. All right, standing in place, warming up. Zuki, chudan, yitch, ni, san, warm up. Chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ke, je. For those that are watching, Typically, we're adults on here, um, so it takes a little bit longer for us to warm up. We don't need to jump into speed. We don't need to jump into power. We need to warm everything up, loosen it up, 
and concentrate more on technique first during our warm up, then we can add the speed and add the power. All right, so now let's go Jodan, Zuki, Itch, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rook, Sich, Hach, Ke, Je, Good. So now we should be at about maybe 60%, right? Let's see. workout. Are y'all ready for that? Is everybody ready for a HIIT workout? We can do that, definitely. If there's a kata you want to train today, please put it in the comments. If there's a certain technique we want to work on, whether you want to stand here and do hook kicks all day, if we want to do jodan mawashigiri, whatever it is, put it in here and we'll try to incorporate everything into today's training. All right, for now, let's go ageuke. Ready, and itch, go ahead and start over rotating, engaging those hips to do a loosen up, okay? Knee, sang, shi, go, rook, sich, hach, ke, je, hi. Good, so the uke, ready? Itch, remember everything correct technique, work on this. Work on hitting every in-between motion so that we know when we do it with speed and power, then we're doing the correct thing. Muscle memory, right? Ni, san, shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ke, je, hai. Good. Get down, but I, left hand, ready? Itch, ni, san, shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ke, je, hai. Good. Uche uke. Left hand. Itch. Ni. Sap. Chi. Go. Rok. Sich. Hach. Ke. Je. Hai. Good. Are you hitting each motion in between? Make sure this is target level, not flying all over the place before you do the motion, whatever it is that we're working on. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. wanting to work on kicks, so let's warm up our legs. We're just going to start, if you'd like to start get on first with uh, my getty, you can go get on first. Again, we're just trying to warm the legs up, all right? Nice and smooth, ready, itch, knee, sam, she, are your toes pulled back, go, rook, sit, are you snapping all the way back, are you hitting all four motions, hatch, ke, Good. All right, loosen those knees up. We could do some kicks. You want to do some kicks today? We can do uh, Jodan, Chudan, Mawashigiri, Kikomi, Yokogiri. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of everything. If y'all want to work on some back kicks, we'll work on back kicks. All right, let's kick a little bit faster. Again, we're not going to take the front kick high. There's really no purpose. I think, and a high my getty because uh, you kind of lose power in this trajectory. The power comes more from the enter of the front kick. So when we do this front kick, this time as we're warming up, concentrate on the, the, the push through. Don't think brushing. It's not brushing, it's entering. Okay, ready? Here we go. Itch, me, sup. Chi, go, bro, foot all the way back, pitch, hatch, ke, je, good. All right, let's warm up some side snap kicks. All right, so foot from here, let's just, let's just open that hip up, kick, and bring it right back, ready? So now we're getting into my favorite part, balance, right? Maybe we should warm up our balancers first, our stability muscles. Let's hold one leg straight in front of us, about six inches off the floor. Hold it, use your foot to stabilize. 
Keep your posture straight. Just hold in place. Other side. Hold. Use that foot. Stability. Three, two, one. Down. Good. Now we're going to lift it up behind us. Again, keeping our posture straight. Lift. Hold. Use your feet. Use your feet. Other side. I don't know what side's best for you to see on that one. Just lift it. Posture is straight. Whoop. Posture is straight. Foot is gripping the floor. Good. That feeling you feel of your foot gripping the floor is, that's your foundation. That's your foundation. A lot of times we think too much about the technique and we don't have a solid foundation first. Even in our stance. If we're in a good stance, then our foot should be flat on the floor, not rolled, especially in kibidachi. We see this a lot of times, people trying to get their knees out so their feet roll. And you don't have the interior arch of your foot on the floor. It's incorrect. You gotta have full power on the floor. Grip the floor, right? So that does require some ankle flexibility. All right, so now that we've woken up our stability muscles, right? Our balancers, let's take side snap kick, nice and slow. We're gonna take it out and back, ready? Itch, out, and back. Squeeze. <laughs> Knee. Sam. She. Let's do five. Go. Now, I am kicking a little bit high. I do prefer to kick high. Um, but feel free to kick any level that you prefer. If you want to do get on, shoot on, jod on, your call today. It's your class. Other side. Ready? Itch. Nice and easy. Warming up those hips. Make sure this enters. Knee. Enter. San, enter. Try not to lean back too much. She, enter. One more. Go, enter. Good. Um, another important thing to always think about is our foot placement, right? I'm just talking out loud all the things that I see in the mirror <laughs> that I'm doing wrong or right and passing it along, right? All right, let's see. Where are we now? Joa, Ireland. Okay. Andre, come on, throw something out for us to do. All right, so from here, let's work on go ahead and warming up those stances. We're just going to do reverse punch. Work on that back leg for now, keeping it uh, relaxed for here so that you can enter for the punch, right? Enter, enter. Um, when we do this stationary without a partner, we forget that the partner is not right here. The partner is not in line with, with our hand. So punching like this does nothing. The partner, the opponent, the target is in front of us a piece, right? So we have to extend, extend to reach the opponent, right? So work on that right now. Make sure you're pushing through that heel, pushing your hip in, and reaching that target. All right, ready? We're gonna do 10, ready? Itch, back. Knee, back. Sun, back. She, back. Go, back. Rope, back. Sitch, back. Hatch, back. He, back. Jai, yummy. You should be at about 75% now as far as warm up. I have this uh, here at the gym, they have a very cool heart monitor that you can wear while you work out. And they have projected up on the screen what your heart rate is so you know how much you're burning, how good you're doing. So I'm watching myself up there. All right, other side, right foot front. Ready? Here we go. Itch. Neat. Knee, back, sup, back, she, back, go, rope, rope, back, sitch, back, hatch, back, kip, back, ju, hey, it. Good. Okay, so we got our legs warmed up, we have our stance warmed up, we have our upper body warmed up. Hey John, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay.
Okay, from here, we'll warm up uh, Mawashi Gary. So for now, we're gonna step in and either chewed on or jode on. Hopefully you have room. And uh, the most important thing to remember, again, because we're still warming up, be soft with your feet and your knees. Remember to let this foot turn as we kick to whatever degree you need to while we're warming up. Then, of course, do it however your sensei wants you to do. But you don't want to keep it straight and kick, right? Okay, so let's just step in and then we'll step back. I'm gonna wash Gary Jodon. Feel free to go whichever way you wanna go. Ready? Itch. And back. Knee. And back. I'll do facing the front. Sign. Enter. And back. She. Enter. Back. Go. Remember that when we're doing this in Kumite, that um, first of all, if you're kicking off the back leg, you have to be very, very, very fast, right? You have to, you're coming from a long way, so you have to be very fast. Sometimes a lot easier to sneak the back leg up and kick with the front, right? Um, so speed is very important, but what's also most important is to not telegraph or tell or show what we're about to do. So work on that now while we're warming up, not to swing your arms or rock, just kick, okay? Five more, ready? Rock, and back, sitch, back, hutch, back, ku, back, one more, ku. And back. Good. All right, other side. Ready? And you can get in whichever stance is comfortable for you. If you'd rather be more in a kumite, loose freestyle stance, that's fine. I'm trying to build my legs up, so I like to stay low. Here we go, Mawashi Gary. Ready? Itch. Again, don't telegraph. Knee. Some. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hatch. K. Back. One more. J. And back. <laughs> Nadja wanted a hit class. We're gonna do a hit class. So with hit, for anybody who hasn't trained hit before, the idea is to get your heart rate elevated, and then you take a 30 to 45 second break, bring it back down. So that's what we'll do. We'll bring it back down. It's a good endurance training as well. Just to give an idea, my heart rate right now is at 155. <laughs> if you have a watch that tells, it's a very, very telling. It's a very knowledgeable and learning experience for you to learn your body, understand your heart health, understand what your ceiling is as far as your training, understand when you get into the red zone, you, when you're operating at 80 to 85% of your heart ability, heart capacity, then that's when you should, okay, stop, let's, let's take a minute, right? If you're operating around 40 or 50, then you can amp it up and you can go a little faster. All right, let me check and see if we have any other suggestions as of yet. We can only see the ceiling? You can't see me? Oh no. Mm. Okay. Um, 
That makes me concerned. Nadja, okay, let me know if you can't see me. Let's go again, because I can see myself fully, unless I misunderstand your message. Okay, good, can we continue? Okay. We'll keep going. Okay, so now to get the heart rate back up, I don't know what kind of space everybody has, so we're gonna do kitty kai techniques. We'll go, get on badai, everybody left foot front. We're gonna go rising block, reverse punch. Rising block, reverse punch. Rising block, reverse punch. When we step back, very important, keep the same height. We're building our legs up and using our heart rate, right? We're trying to get that heart rate up. All right, here we go. Left foot front. Let's go ahead and reverse punch. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sam. She. Work on whatever technical aspect of this you want to do. If you need to work speed, go speed. Power. Power technique, slow it down. Go. Sorry about that. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Kid. Jig. Hey. Yum it. Good. All right. So now let's move into a kick. So we'll do a technique and then we'll do a kick. We'll do a technique and we'll do a kick. Let's do the side thrust kick from um, Niju Shiho. So we know that when we do that, uh, we go, we're facing the back, of course, but I'll do it facing the, the front. So hand goes out. This hand is in hikite. Make sure that our toes are straight. We're gonna try not to shift our, our whole weight back past this right leg too much, right? So from here, bring the leg in and kick, and then punch, right? We're not worried about the punch so much today, just worried about the kick. So let's do, well, we'll we will alternate, let's do five, okay? So from here, ready? Keep that hikite, don't let it be like a chicken wing and let your elbow fly. Make sure you keep it back. Ready? And itch. Cross, other side, ready? Knee. Other across, other side. Woo, it's been a minute for these. Other side, ready? Some. Across. She. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments on these. Go. Concentrate on that being the heel that is the striker, right? Okay, last one. Rook. Good, yeah. It's more fun if we add it to a kata that we know instead of just moving up and down the floor. When we do that side thrust, we lift that knee up just like my Getty, but we go ahead and we tilt that foot because we know what our weapon's gonna be. And we pull those toes up because the heel is gonna strike. In fact, if this is the side of my foot, we don't want it to kick straight out. We want it to be, if this is my heel, we want the heel to be slightly more forward and entering than the rest of the foot. And even toes slightly, slightly down, right? So, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. These are just reminders. So more here. Right? If you can see that angle, it's a little bit more there. That's where your power is. Your power in a side thrust isn't necessarily going to be the knife. It's going to come from that blunt force of that heel. Sorry, I hope you can hear me. All right. So let's do that stepping in. So maybe you can see yourself in your camera if your foot angle is correct. All right. Left foot front first, we'll step in, side thrust, and then we'll come back. Ready? Itch. And back. Five. Knee. 
And back. Sam. And back. She. Sometimes I add my own sound effects. <laughs> One more, ready? Go. My biggest concern personally is I like to make sure that my knee and my foot is coming back. If I'm not bringing that, that third motion, as in itch, knee, sign, she, if I'm not hitting some, then the kick is incorrect, right? Plus, there's a lot of things you can do after that, right? If we were to get creative, if we were to get creative, once we brought that foot back, if we're here, we could throw another one. We could do a mawashi. We could step back. But if you don't hit that third motion, then you're kind of dead in the water. A lot of times, we get lazy, especially in class, when we're doing it over and over, and we just drop that foot. We kick, and then we're done. So maybe today, you do the same and work on that foot coming back. All right, right foot front, other side. Here we go. Ready? Stepping in. Itch. And back. Knee. And back. Sun. And back. She. Expelling the breath. I'll tell you. Hang on. One more. Go. And back. Expelling the breath whenever you do a technique is the same theory as the ki. It's the same idea and principle behind it that we try to exert more power and also tighten the whole body. Very, very important. At the point of impact, if you have, we'll take 30 seconds and, and catch our breath for a second. At the point of impact, we know the weaker of the impact of the two items impacting, the weaker is the one that gets hurt, right? We've learned that with our fists. If our fist isn't tight and we hit the target wrong or we punch hands, the one with the weaker fist or that's not making it as tight as it can possibly be gets hurt the worst. So when we and tighten our body, at the point of impact, we're not only minimizing uh, injury or damage to ourself, we're also exerting an extra amount of power, right? If I'm to punch, that's as hard as I can punch without ki or expelling extra breath. But if I add the breath from my body, Not only can I, aside from the noise, not only can I punch a little bit faster and, and make that impact even stronger, but my body is also tight to accept impact that might be coming from another place, right? Everything is tight in that moment. Now, the trick to karate that we're all trying to uh, master is how do we tighten at the point of impact and then relax? How do we do that zero, 100, zero that all the senseis are always talking about? That's where your mind comes in. It's a very, it is very difficult. It takes a lot of practice. The, the best way to do it is just by punching, relax, open your hand. Punch, relax, open your hand. Because when you open your hand, you have to relax, right? Don't get in the habit of doing it. But just as a practice, let's do 10 like that. Ready? Itch. Knee, some, she, go, rope, sitch, hutch, kick, chip. Good. Did you feel that different? It's very, it's, it's, um, it's a thinker. You have to constantly think about it. And that's what makes kata very dynamic. When we're doing kata, if you have mastered this, and you're able to move through even the 21 moves in Heian Shodan. And at each technique, you're able to tense, relax, move, tense, relax, move, tense. Then your Heian Shodan is the most dynamic and most effective kata. Very difficult. 
We're going to do the same thing this time with uh, Uchi Uke, um, Yakuzuki. I apologize. It is in the middle of uh, the work day here. So my phone keeps going off. I apologize for that. We're going to do Uchi Uke, Uchi Uke, Yakuzuki. Same way we just did. So uh, this time, I think we've all got our heel warmed up, our back leg warmed up, our hips entered in. Now we're going to work on opening the hips up, which is uchi uchi is the best way to work on that open and close. For today, I'm going to overemphasize it. I'm going to do it a lot more than I normally would just to show that that's what we're working on and just to try to get you guys to maybe try the same thing. Um, here's the key. This is what we're working on. This is just a training technique. This is not proper um, form of the, of the block, but this is what we're working on. When we do uchi uchi, we're going to uchi uchi and we're going to open our hips up as much as we possibly can, but we're going to leave this leg in place. That's where it's difficult. We are very tight as karatekas. We're very tight in our hip flexors. And to open this and keep this straight, it's very difficult for us. Point in case, Sochin stance, Sochin dachi. Um, hand go down. Very difficult, very difficult. Leave this, leave this, twisting, keeping that open. Um, really anything, any, any of the katas. Even, uh, even in um, gym, coming across, coming across, when we have to come across and turn our body, take your on any of these. Whatever the stance may be, knee out, hips turning, this is what we're working on right now, okay? So overemphasize it, it's okay. I'm not saying <laughs> to do it like that in class or all the time. All right, so we're at Yakuzuki. Get in a good, nice, good stance. Make sure your front stance is your stance that you're comfortable with, that you move in. We're gonna uchi uchi. Keep that leg straight, Yakuzuki. Uchi uchi. Yakuzuki. You should feel the strain. All right, here we go. Ready? Itch. Ni. Sa. Shi. Go. Ro. Sitch. Hach. Kip. Jin. Good. Yeah. Were you able to keep that leg straight? Um, it's a lot easier if you have a mirror behind you and you can watch it. If you don't, if you have somebody at home that can help you out, have them hold your knee. It's a very, very good practice. Okay, also for this, very important while we're going through the basic steps of it, this is the motion. So when we're here, make sure that you don't bring that hand under the belt level. Just across, across the belt, and then blocking shoulder height. Mine might look a little bit higher, my camera's low. Here, across, open, okay? Don't swing it. All good practicing things to remember. Right foot front, Yakazuki. Ready? Itch, across. Right knee stays open. Knee. Now, if your foot rolls a little bit on this exercise when we're doing this, it's okay. I know I said foot always flat on the floor, but we're trying to stretch something out right now. So it's okay if your foot rolls. Let's, let's work on this. Itch. Knee. San. Shi. Go. Rok. Sitch. Hach. Ku. Jiki. Yeah. Good. How did that work out? Were you able to keep your knee straight? I know you were. It's not. Not too difficult for you guys, I know. All right. We're going to do the dreaded uh, three kicks that we have to do on, I believe it's knee on testing up. When I came through, we had to do it for black belt test. Now I think it's just for knee on and up. But we're going to work on those stability muscles. It's not going to be pretty. Work on stability muscles, hips underneath us, front kick, side kick, back kick, and down. We're going to try it. First, let's just do 10 front kicks, 
holding our leg up. Ready? Knee up. Here we go. Itch. Knee. No power. Just balance. Sun. She. Go. Remember that foot has to enter. Ro Keep going. Sorry. Hutch. Kick. Jew. Good. Other side. Oh, I leaned on that one, didn't I? All right. Other side. Knee up. Ready. Itch. Enter. Knee. Enter. Sun. Enter. She. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hatch. Kick. Jig. Good. All right. We already did that with the side snap. But we're going to do side thrust, front kick, side thrust, down. Let's, let's do the two together. Just the right foot. Ready? I'll count. One count, both kicks. Nice and slow. Again, we're still working, working technique. Itch. Down. The trick is that we want to, after the kick, we want to squeeze and down, right? That's what we're thinking. Knee. Down. Ooh, come on, squeeze. Sign. Kick. Kick. Down. There we go. She. Kick. Kick. Down. Sometimes you just have to tell your body, do what I'm telling you to do. Go. Last one. Kick. Down. Now, I'm watching myself in the comments, but always look in the direction of your kicks. Always look in the direction of your kicks. Other side. Ready? Five. Itch. Down. Knee. Down. Woo. Squeeze. Sign. Down. She. Down. Last one. Go. Good. Okay, the last one to add to that, of course, is the fun, but often not done. Go ahead. Right? So, when we do this from the side, once again, it's the knee in the same position, right? Now, I'm not saying, let me, let me erase that thought, erase that thought. Your instructor may say, it's here. Your instructor may say it's here. Whatever your instructor says is, is the correct thing to do. Today for this training, we're gonna do it from this position because this promotes more balance uh, training, more balanced training and teaching you more stability and how to control your body. But when it comes to actually doing the kick, your instructor is the right way to do it. All right, so we're gonna go, we just did the side kick, we're gonna go from here kick back and back to here and then down, okay, right? Once again, we know the weapon of this kata is the heel. So the foot is, should be angled as much as possible with the heel leading. It should, I'm so sorry, it should be good now. I don't know what happened. Let's go. We've got two more. We've got two more of these back kicks. Don't give up on me. Ready? She. Back and up. One more. Go back and up. Good. Other side. The other thing that they don't tell you about this kick is this, this kick requires more than, like with the front kick, we use a lot of glute. We, we use a lot of uh, quad muscle. When we're doing this back kick, this back kick requires a lot of upper glute and lower back muscles. It takes a lot of that to be able to lift your leg behind you without having to lay down. If you're having to lay down to do this kick, you need to strengthen your lower back. Don't feel bad about it. We all need to strengthen our lower back. But that's the reason behind you not being able to get that foot up, all right? All right, let's go. Five on the other side. Foot up, ready? Itch. And back. Knee. And back. Sun and back. She. Make sure you're looking at your kick, not like I'm doing. Go and back. Whew. That is a tough one. Okay, so now we're gonna put it all together. If you fall over, don't feel bad. If I fall over, 
don't laugh, or, or laugh, either way. Um, it is something that is, a, in fact, I believe that's why they put it on the test. It's not that it's difficult physically, it's difficult mentally. It's a mental test. You're already nervous for your test. You've already done your kata, done your basics, you're fatigued. Now the, the judges wanna know, how do you handle yourself under stress? How do you handle yourself when you're tired? How do you handle yourself when your nerves are shaking, which in any situation where you require karate or self-defense, your nerves are gonna be shaken, right? Okay, so let's see how we do. We're gonna go slow. I'm gonna count it, itch, knee, sum, okay, and back. I'll count all three counts, just do it slowly. Ready? Knee up, here we go. Itch, knee, sum, and down. See, we all hop, here we go. Knee up, itch, knee, sum, and down. I'm trying to watch the camera. It's the only reason why I'm not looking at my kicks. One last time, we're gonna do three on each side, just like a test. Itch, knee, sum, and down. Good, all right, other side, ready? And itch, knee, sum, and down. Again, knee up. Itch, knee, sum. And down. Some of them I concentrate on more than others, and it works. Some of them I'm out in left field. Last time. Ready? Itch, knee, sa, and down. Good. Okay, so how does this training help you in everything else? When you're stepping in kata, let's go to kata. When we're stepping in kata, when we kick in a kata, let's do a uh, Jion, you're kicking from one leg, obviously, because you're having to kick a leg, but you're also having to shift your weight. So we're shifting, we're holding, and then we're having to do another technique. Okay, fair enough. Um, how about, how about Heian Yandan? We have to hold, we have to show this, and then kick. And then not only kick, we have to, ideally, we have to kick and then slide the foot and then hit, right? Balance. Um, Kankudai, half and, and, uh, and knee down, half step, kick, go. All right, and then of course the ultimate, Gankaku. Well, actually hold it. Then squat, then kick, then enter, right? So this particular training, helps you in everything. How does it help you in fighting? Okay, the opponent's coming in, they're, they're charging at you, lean back on one leg, kick, right? Step to one side, shift your weight, standing on one leg, kick, right? And then for those of us who get brave, you can spin and do the back kick. Of course, you have to spin some way. Some people step in and back kick. Some people like to spin and back kick. Either way, you gotta have that balance, right? You have to have that mind over matter. Okay, so now we did Ageuke, we did Uchiuke, Sotouke. Let's do, uh, let's do Gidonbarai, Yakazuki, Maigeri, okay? This is for Nadja, she wants the hit, so we're gonna get our heart rate back up. Yakazuki. We're gonna go Gidonbarai. Yakazuki, my getty. Okay, now the important part that we're gonna focus on this is this front leg. That's what we're concerned with. We want this front leg to absorb all the weight, keep our height the same, and then also we're not kicking a flat wall, we're kicking a stomach. So we have to enter that kick. So make sure that your technique is a, um, a productive technique. It's not just training basics. We can actually hurt somebody with what we're doing. All right, Yakazuki, here we go. Itch, ni, san. Itch, 
Me. Sa. Itch. Me. Sa. Ooh. Itch. Me. Sa. <laughs> Sorry. One more time. Itch. Me. Sa. Good. All right. Everybody knows what kata we're training when you hold that leg up, right? Itch. Me. Sa. Itch, knee, sam. Itch, knee, sam. Itch, knee, sam. Good. Yummy. Now, what did we train when we did that? These are just ideas of things you can do at your dojo or you can do on your own. When you do that series of techniques, what did we do? First of all, we worked on this front leg, staying out, hips turning. Entering, worked on the heel and the back hip entering. We worked on the, the quad absorbing, keeping the same height and stability to hold and back, right? So you're working on four or five different things just in that one exercise. How are we on time? Good, okay. I wanna do one last little training for, um, for balance. Because it is so important in katas, not just the balancing katas, it's not just like, it's not just empty. You know, yes, this is very beautiful to be able to do. It's very beautiful to be able to do all these little extra motions. But more importantly, it's beautiful, again, hey, I'm showed on, to be able to move from stance to stance like water. To be able to move using your muscles and your body and not look like a skeleton. Do you understand what I mean by skeleton? I tell my son this all the time. Sometimes when the lower belts step, they step and they stomp. And you know that's their bones catching them. There's no, there's no muscle to this. There's no grit. It's just their skeleton is holding them up. I know you've seen it. I know you've all done it in class when we get lazy and we get tired. I've done it. So the importance is when we move, think of everything. Think of, it's not just a downward block with our skeleton, no. If somebody's attacking us, you're not gonna just, whoa, no. You're going to prepare, prepare. This is my strength is absorbing, preparing. I'm preparing. I'm preparing, and then strong. And then from here, when I step in, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rear back and step. I'm gonna use this leg muscle to push and push. When I turn, I'm not, I'm not gonna rock back. I'm gonna use my shoulders and my hips to turn me, right? So these are all things that come from the inner muscles from here to about here. All of this area, about, about a foot of your body, that is your stability. Okay, now, the reason why I say that is for this exercise. Get your foot flat on the floor. Toes on the floor, heels on the floor. Everybody's done these. Call them Roman deadlifts. We're gonna put one leg behind us. We're gonna lean over, lift that leg behind you as high as you can. Touch the floor and come back. Did you see it from the side? Let's do it again. Keep this knee bent. Don't try to keep your base leg straight. Bend it. All right, we're slightly bent. We're leaning over, we're concentrating. That foot is holding us. We touch and we come back. Let's do that again. Make it prettier, Rachel. Here we go. Foot flat on the floor, toes are gripping. We lean over, we touch the floor, we come back. Let's do two more. Lean over, touch the floor, come back. One more, ready? Lean over, touch the floor, come back. Do you find that your knee is turning in when you go down? Do you feel your knee caving in? If you do, that's instability on the inner thigh. It's okay, but now you know what it is, work on it. 
okay? One way to work on that is to do just what we're doing. Keep that foot straight, bend that knee. We're gonna go down now and we're gonna bend your knee and come up. Can you see what I'm doing? Instead of just leaning over, now we're gonna bend that knee. So lift, bend, and come up. Can you see that motion? Bend and come up. That is going to strengthen your glute med, it's gonna strengthen your inner thigh, and it's gonna strengthen all of your stability muscles in your feet. You're not gonna get big feet, but it will train your body that when you're doing, for instance, for the longest time, I had such an issue, go to show, show, from here, turn, when I would do that turn fast, every time, I would stumble, right? The only way I could fix that was to learn how to use the floor with my feet. From here, turn, and squeeze, and hold it, right? Now, of course, the turn can always be faster, the arms can always be stronger, but the idea here is grab the floor. When you build your feet muscles up and you build this up, you learn in every situation your body will automatically adapt. All right, let's do, the, let's do five of the bending with your knee, okay? These are harder, but it's okay, you can do it. Find a focal point, ready? Bend, itch and up. Bend, knee and up. Your back leg is up. Sign, bend, up. She, bend and up. Go, bend and up. Good. Other side. Now this will be funny because this is not the strongest side. Here we go. Find your balance. Grip the floor. Tell yourself you're not going to fall over. And bend and up. Bend and up. Bend and up. Concentrate. Two more. Bend and up. One more. Bend. And up, woo, did you make it? Are you burning, are your legs burning? Good, okay, now, just for Nadja, I know she wants a burnout. Your last piece of hit, I know y'all love it. Keep it at you, ready? Stay in your stance. Get your feet flat on the floor, find it to where your feet aren't rolling out, flat on the floor, bottom tucked in, get comfortable, we'll be here for a minute. Yakazuki, 10. Itch, deep, sun, cheek, go, rope, sit, hatch, kip, jip. Agayuke, itch, deep, sun, cheek, go, rope, sit, hatch, kip, jip. Soto uke, itch, deep, sun, cheek, go, rope, sit, hatch, kip, jip. Uche uke, itch, deep, sun, cheek, go, rope, sit, hatch, kip, jip. Don't move. Get on the die. Itch, nip, sup, sheep, go, rope, sitch, hutch, kip, jip. Stay. Don't move. Stay. Hold it. Don't bounce. Don't go lower. Don't go higher. This should be your perfect stance that you're in right now. If this is your perfect kibidachi, Holding it for a minute a day, your body will remember this stance, and you'll hit this stance every single time. Practice it, hold it. Don't move. Take a big breath in, and out. Don't move. Big breath in, out. Go to a different place, forget about your legs. Over to one side, and back, ha, ah, tricked you. To the other side, back, keep your knees bent, twist, back, twist, back, don't move, twist, back, twist, back, punch across, Itch, knee, keep those legs out. Some, she, 
Go. Rock. Sit. Hatch. Kill. Yeah. Hey. Yame, slowly straighten your legs. Slowly walk them back in. Okay, and ready. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for hanging in there. I'm sorry for the connection issues. And, um, and I thought that, that's my Gary for the anniversary party at home was tough going. <laughs> oh, Colin, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, this is kind of what happens when I don't have a class planned. When we fly by the seat of our britches, we just uh, come up with <laughs> the most random things. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope you got a sweat in. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about your body as well, your strengths, your weaknesses, whatever it may be. Karate is all about learning. You know what they say, when we become a black belt, we're really a white belt. I'm going to look through here real fast. <sighs> See if there's any questions, any comments, any, any laughter on my stumbles. <sighs> it's so good to see everybody. Thank you all for joining in. It means the world. Oh, good. Laura, I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, I had a bigger space and I had big ideas for, you know, let's do big open, let's do goji show show, let's do some big katas. But at the same time, I know that um, any other day I wouldn't have a space this big, and I'm sure that a lot of people are still at home as well. Um, we've been really blessed and we're able to get vaccinated last month, so um, we're moving about just a little bit, but we still wear masks. But I'm alone as you can see. Let's see. Just making sure nobody has any questions or comments. Thank you everybody for being so positive and hanging in there with me. I love teaching on here anytime they message me and ask me to fill in. I am always excited to do so. Wow. wow, everybody from so far. I love seeing, I saw Goa, I saw Africa, I saw um, everywhere. Okay. Sorry, I speak English, but possible a lesson karate with you. Stephanie, bonjour, good to see you. Message, if you can, message me, we'll speak. Gracias, Francisco, thank you very much. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had a great time. As always, if you um, ever have any questions or, uh, thank you, Martin, or um, wanna go over anything or just chit chat karate, talk about karate, you know, that's kind of what we do and we have a lot of fun with it. We are um, still shut down for the most part. We don't get out too much, and uh, I do come here and train, but other than that, you guys are, are the dojo. You guys are my dojo, and um, I love training with you all. Make sure that you really pay attention to the schedule for May. There's a lot of exciting things, as Nadja and Martin has mentioned. There, are, um, there is a new session. It slips the, the name of it slips my mind right now, but it's where we're incorporating other training along with karate. So you'll see stretching, you'll see strength training, you'll see um, some yoga, you'll see a lot of stuff and how they intertwine with karate to make, to make our karate and everything better. You'll really enjoy it. There's some amazing senseis that are gonna be teaching that as well. Um, other than that, I will see y'all, I believe I'm back on the 30th. And so um, we'll see you then. Thank you everybody, bye.